I would like to share a few design tips for Harlow, Larson Jewel's frame collection. It was inspired by old time Hollywood and actresses such as Jean Harlow, but it has a lot of life beyond that. The collection is three profiles. One is contemporary, flat. One is a more traditional scoop. And one is what I would call more tr um, transitional in between with a bevel. Mirror finishes are very popular today in furnishings, bringing back kind of that old Hollywood glam. In addition, these frames would work really well in contemporary colorful room settings such as these. And imagine every little girl wants to be a princess and think of the bling that these frames can bring to her room. And in addition, as those girls grow up, they still like their glitz and glam and can bring in some Hollywood glamour using Harlow frames in their rooms. And there's a phrase, boys and their toys. Boys like things shiny too. Chrome on the cars, motorcycles, planes, aviation. And look at this cool portrait of a young girl and her friends who are taking it are shown in the reflection of the glasses. So basically anything that's got reflection can be cool in a Harlow frame, including this sculpture in Chicago or any kind of a skyline scene with those reflective buildings. Historically, uh, mirrors have been framed more in gold ornate frames or wood tone frames. But this also looks really cool to have a frame like this around a mirror. You might be getting a little behind the scenes tour right now watching our photographer take the pictures. Um, and I just want to show you how the frame kind of fades into the mirror and disappears. The flat profile works perfectly as a liner inside of other frames. And notice how this is cool stacked together with black on either side of it. But you can also do a tone on tone look here with the Jonathan Adler Bel Air collection. In addition, keep in mind that people who like finishes like this that are so bold probably would enjoy some bold color. So using something like a liner inside that's colorful. And this uh, pink frame is from our confetti collection. But also getting a little bit of pattern going inside as a liner is nice too. And if you want a little bit stronger contrast, something like that works. This frame is a good choice for this kind of a picture, again with the gray liner. The picture itself has kind of a retro feel to it, and the frame having that kind of both old and new look works really well with it. The more traditional frame doesn't have to be used just on traditional artwork. This piece is actually quite contemporary, and combined with the black liner, a bright white matte, it has a really exciting look for today. Because of the brilliance of this finish, the digital white mat from Artique looks really nice with it. And keep in mind when you're choosing a black mat, black can almost look lifeless against the shiny silver. So think about black fabric which looks a little richer. Or in the Artique mat line there's also an onyx black which has a sheen to it which looks nicer with that molding. So that's a few design tips for Harlow. I hope you'll have some fun with it.